Hey guys, and we are back playing some more Mass Effect 3. Um, in the last episode, I forgot to pick up Dr. Chakwas, uh, so I went and did that off screen. She's on the Normandy. Uh, we'll go and talk to her a little bit later, but I think it's time to actually get some missions done because we spent the last few episodes basically wandering around the Normandy and wandering around the Citadel. So I think it's time to get something interesting done. We are going to go and recruit possibly my favourite squad member. Um, we'll find out who he is in a minute. Okay, we've got a couple of missions. Uh, this is the new galaxy map. Basically, the Reapers turn up um, on conquered systems. So, sometimes systems can be conquered, sometimes they're not. Like, uh, let's say the Anos Basin. Uh, we can go to that at one point, but eventually the Reapers will turn up, so it's a conquered system. Uh, there is also a new scanning um, mini game. You don't have to scan planets anymore. Um, you basically just sort of drive past them and scan them from orbit. You don't have to send probes down. Um, okay, recover Prothean Artifact. What's that? Cerberus Lab. Yeah, we're going to go and recover the Prothean Artifact. It'll be taking us back to a planet that we visited a long time ago. In the first game, actually. Eden Prime. Back from the first game. I remember Eden Prime. That was the start of it all. Okay, ooh, I wonder who we're gonna pick. No. Gotta take them all. In fact, can I change Liara's outfit? Yes, because I got the DLC, so she can have that one. That's my favourite outfit for, her, for some reason. Uh, I can change James as well, because I believe all squad members get a new outfit in the DLC, I'm not sure. Okay, so we've got some mods on. I will use the Cerberus Harrier for a little bit. I'll just try that out. Um, but I'm probably going to stop using them after uh, this mission because we get the coolest assault rifle ever from this mission. Um, okay, so much like the uh, last game, I'm going to level up armor-piercing ammo all the way. Now, the... Um, yeah, this is different. The leveling up thing's different. Uh, much better, in my opinion, than the first game. Um, yeah, I really like it. Okay, increase headshot damage by 25% or ammo capacity. We're going to go with ammo capacity. Health and armor damage or armor effectiveness. I think we're going to go with that. See, um, towards the end, you have to choose one of two upgrades. Um, which kind of sucks, but, you know get over it. Uh, combat mastery. We'll get that up. Headshot damage by 20% or squad mate weapon damage. We're going to go with that and we can't level up any further with that. Um, fitness. Why not? Okay, we are ready to go. And I just remembered I forgot to level up the squad. God damn it. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. You weren't there. You weren't there, Liara. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. Not on my watch. Damn straight, loco. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Alright then. <coughs> mm. 
No sign of survivors. Sorry, just come on. We need there. to find the dig site. Okay, armor piercing ammo. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were just... <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, there are actually, there's a little side quest on this, you can get a bit of a war asset from it. Uh, there are three terminals scattered around uh, Eden Shepard, Prime. This Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive we have to find them all, huh. um, and if we do, it's a war asset, so resistance. we might as well Maybe do that. Help them fight back against you can get Eden Prime support. Um, yeah, I always forget where they all are, but we'll find them. Just have to explore. Um, I'm I'm not sure how much I like my armor That's the right now. That leads down into the dig site. I've just I mean I was looking at it during the cutscene and I was like, no, I don't like this. So we're probably gonna change the color when I get back. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's. A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original unmodified Prothean who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. It's never simple, is it? Heads up! Yeah, I hate the fact that every time we go into a cutscene and come back out of it again, my armor piercing ammo goes away. Oh, this gun. It's very high damage, but the recoil is just sometimes really, really bad. Come on, little nemesis. You can see how bad the recoil is, but it kills enemies really, really fast. Quick kill. All right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. <coughs> right, let's just have a quick look around first. We don't want to miss any uh, side quests or anything. There it is. That is the second out of uh, help the three. Colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. At least I think it's three.
Wait, what's down here? Oh shit. Crap, they got a turret. God damn it, my cover is just fucking spazzing out. As soon as I can get the um, better stabilization mods for this gun, it will be the coolest thing ever. I mean, it is really, really powerful. Although, for some reason, when you fire it from the hip, there's no recoil on it. When you aim it, it's really bad. Okay, what am I looking for? Find the pod there. Oh, it's over there. Well, this looks Prothean. They always have green, sort of weird stuff. Well, there is the amazing assault rifle that I was talking about. We actually get to use that. And it is the coolest thing ever. I like how Prothean Biotics are green. Oh, they're holding hands. That's cute. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Third of our people. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. 